Nathan brought all the favor styles for our pre-primary school. It's around 6,500 square feet of laying the floor for the baby kids for the nursery and PG teachers. So they don't, they don't get hurt much with the young family. They get smart and all. So we're coming to an end. Actually, they were supposed to finish by Sunday and then drag down to now. And suddenly, only a small portion was left and they said they are very tired, they want to leave. So now people all rushed out and said, no, finish in one day. Not possible. You cannot finish. What is not said? What is this said? What is that? <laughs> so, they then called me and said, will you please go there? So I went there. I asked this boy, cannot do it for three days. <laughs> the work is not finished. The world is not going to end today. Tomorrow also, another one portion. We are given around two, three contracts. So, when you do the second contract, you can do it up. And I said this one, the boy said, no, no, I have some more there, I can do this one. So, do it. Then he said, no, no, I can do a little more better. <laughs> so, I went back, waited, waited, to flow with the tide, and that space was so warm, you wanted to do it today. Do it. Tomorrow is just another day is coming. If not you, if you die today, so another person will carry it. What are you? What is the worry about it? I mean, it's really full and fish. God tried William. Lebne is born on 1st July 1646 in Leipzig in Germany. Died on 14th November 1716 in Hanover. In Germany, was a German foreigner. Active as a mathematician, philosopher, scientist, and diplomat. He is one of the most prominent figures in both the history of philosophy and the history of mathematics. He wrote works on philosophy, theology, ethics, politics, law, history, and philology. God cried William Leibniz, said, He who hasn't tasted bitter things hasn't earned sweet things. <laughs> this one statement is very, very closely connected or is very very important for the people in the cities who have used the books as the guru and who have decided not to think above and do not force their body to roar like a thousand men warrior for that this workshop but basically in the villages and from the baby child they are working they never find bitter and sweet things they do not separate in fact the bitter things are more tastier than the sweet things and i have seen that in many many places the more you bitter you eat more sweeter you become and most of your diseases are over God cried, William Levin, he who hasn't tasted bitter things, hasn't earned sweet things. If you at all wanted to, if you, at all, if you wanted to actually have a tea, something in the tea comes. And you drink the tea, and it's not tasty because in India, they put the tea and they call it milk tea. And in the milk tea, they put sugar. In other places, they, the tea is tea, it is black tea. Uh, here you say tea means they boil the milk boil, and then they put the tea and then they put the sugar. <laughs> it's actually a sweet oh girl, a sweet dish actually, the tea. So when the tea comes, most of you say it's not tasty because much before the tea, you must have taken an Indian laddu, which is a sweet one, or a gulab jam. And when you eat a sweet, when you drink the tea, it doesn't taste sweet. So before the tea, it is better you take something which is bitter. So that this tastes better. Yes. Hence they say that you work very, very hard. You sweat seven times. And when you come back, you have a beautiful sleep. That sleep is your sweetness. When you don't get a sleep, don't rush up to the doctor for a sleeping tablet. You have to find out whether you have worked hard. Even many people who have gone to the factories and other offices to work, when they come back, they are very tired. But in their tiredness, 
they are not getting sleep. Sleep is disturbed. They used to like to disturb. Sleep is not disturbed. Yin and the yang, positive, negative, when you came back home, you did not melt with your job inside the house. That is your stability, your foundation. And if you melt in that one, you don't find anything is bitter or tasty. Everything is tasty. Yes, you find more and more love. Otherwise, you think it is your middle class, your upper class, your rich class. Here we have always tried it in Rakum schools. Children come from many different religions, many different castes, and no senior knows to which caste the community the children come is not asked. Only the children's name is asked. Don't ask from where they come, from which religion they belong. And the more deeper we go, I find everybody loving each other. The senior is loving the junior without any caste or community. Deeper and different, different faces, different, different colors. Nobody found where the colors and the looks or the style. Everybody has become a lover. In that lover, where is bitter, where is sweet? This and that doesn't come. So everything. There is a goal. The focus is on education. Focus is to learn as much as possible. And in the village, just digging, even a baby child does climbing it too weak to climb up. <laughs> but in the city, climbing up, you have to go to the rock climbing instructor to learn how to touch the rock. To to if somebody comes to attack you, you have to go to a karate master to learn karate techniques. Here in the village, I don't find any karate brota. They just take one boom they hit, death guarantee. Even a karate black belt comes, he will die. Because the hand is so powerful of climbing the tree and pulling the bull, the body is full of power. Where there is bitter and sweetness, as they climb up the ladder, they never find. When the people in Indranaka, they came to give rice, and I told my children, go pick up the rice. No, 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 girls, no, 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 find out some big men. Then I ran. You know, Swamiji, Guruji, don't want. And I went and picked up, those days, there were 50 kg, 100 kg, one, one um, sack of rice. I used to pick up on my shoulder and run. They would shout. And from behind my children, the baby children, fourth, seventh, third, ten baby children can lift 20 kg and they run. <laughs> they never felt it was difficult. The city has collapsed. And in that weakness, they created the rich and the poor. They created the God and the devil. Hence, they use the word bitter and sweet. But in that bitterness, also, they can do it. The laughing, laughing, and they do. They dig together with a song. And all our Indian mothers in the in the house, I don't think mothers will. Eh? The fathers, I thought the fathers will make sure that he cleans up, cuts it up, cuts the wood, and then he, it is he who chops the, all the vegetables or the food items, and then the cooking start. It will be bigger one, he himself cooks it up together. Together, they will taste first round. There's no bitterness in that. Here, there is bitterness. If the man takes a broom and swim, oh, hey. What is happening? The man takes a close and wash. Hey, what's happening with your wife? They created the differences. They broke the family and segregated you far away. Together you do it, you can find God. Inside God, there is a devil always living. The devil is the dirt. When you remove the dirt, you can find its beauty. Not bitter, not sweet, but both as God. Beauty. Without bitter, the sweet cannot live. Without sweet, the bitter cannot live. Without the man, the women cannot live. Without the women, the man cannot live. Such was the beauty of you connecting with your nature. When you see the nature, can you embrace the wind? But here we embrace the wind. We hug the wind. The wind to dig the roots. We try to hug the sunlight also, but nobody knows that. Try that method, and it is only beautiful. God pride William left me said, He who hasn't tasted bitter things, hasn't earned sweet things, the hardest to labor, you will never ever feel pain. You will never ever feel it is difficult. Everybody in the city said, Oh, himself go to the himself go to the They are torturing. 
children are talking, the women who marries and go to husband knows they'll import during himse good did. Everybody, men going to also um, to the workplace coming to himse good did. From where they got that the purest language himse? From the laziness, from the childhood, which has not been taught. Participation is good. Participation is beautiful. Together, a family when they sit together, eat together, there's no bitter than just in the sweetness of them. In that sweetness, you see your connecting link to the joint family. Yes, and if you see the family trees, then it's tall. Thank you.